Boom shakalaka, what is going on everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love, and today I have a sponsored video about IOTW, a solution for the Internet of Things. Now, in this video, we're going to go over to IOTW and uh, compare them with IOTA, with IOT Chain, with Rough Chain, with some other IOT solutions out there in the marketplace. But before we get started, just want to say thank you to everyone subscribing, thank you to everyone mashing on the like button, and guys, if you want to win a free shirt, make sure you comment on this video and every other video to enter for your chance to win. Now, IOTW blockchain ecosystem is an internet of things blockchain with two new concepts proof of assignment and micro mining and that is how they differentiate themselves from a lot of the other different projects out there um, they want to kind of be contrasted with iota they also want to be contrasted with proof of work and proof of stake kind of having the benefits of everything going on there now i'm going to go over everything try and get an objective point of view on this thing and then let's get into it so to begin with uh, about IOTW. Basically, they talk about how um, mining has been resource intensive, like we know that we're killing polar bears in Iceland in order to mine Bitcoin. Well, proof of stake is no better because then you can just buy in a whole bunch, you get the rewards. Well, POA, they don't call it POA, they call it proof of, assi proof of assignment mining is their solution to where IoT devices anywhere in the world can connect without having any new hardware whatsoever and be able to be rewarded in mining. Now, IoT devices, if you're asking what are those, those are things like the computer chips in your TV, in, they talk about ones in like water processors, in refrigerators, in DVD players, all these different things. We have these chips all over the place in our phone, in our smartwatches. All these chips are just sitting there doing nothing. And if we want robots to take over the world, they need to start doing something. So by using the software that IOTW creates, they can then connect to this network to be able to start mining transactions, doing micro mining using the proof of assignment. Uh, so they say it's as simple as you connect your device. So you, uh, you just download it. It's an open SDK solution. You start mining and then you redeem your rewards. So it's set up to be pretty easy. Now this is, they have a video here where they went over some of the mining. So they think they have a rig here with, I think it was 200 miners. And basically each one of these little squares right here, that is a little mining rig. They compare that with other solutions like IOTA where you need a lot more processing power. This is just a teeny little thing that you can use. And then here, it shows all the mining machines, shows uh, block rewards. So each each block reward is 50 tokens that they have here. And then they're using both Android and iOS phones, Apple phones, in order to do transactions. And you actually see the transactions happening on there. And you can see whichever one of these lights up, like it's down here in the bottom left. Oh, missed it. Right there. This one lit up blue. So that's the one that actually cleaned the reward on that last thing. So, design highlights. Basically, uh, the big draws that they have to this one is that any IoT device can connect to it without having additional hardware. So basically, anything that's already shipped, boom, can just download the software, automatically connect to it. Um, it's the proof of assignment mining, uh, the micro mining is a green mining, so it doesn't hurt the, uh, the ecosystem as much as Bitcoin does. Uh, and then, so those are the main things as to why it's better. We'll just go through here the competitive analysis of IOTW and IOTA. So mining method for IOTW is proof of assignment and extremely low processing power. IOTA has NA because IOTA is pre-mined. So DAG, they are, IOTA uses the DAG, they already have a fixed amount there. Uh, Additional hardware costs, none if using a DPS chip or for IOTA to need an additional computer board. Transaction speed, 3,000 TPS now. Uh, goal of 100,000 TPS. Uh, right now, 3 TPS for IOTA. Chain structure is a blockchain, whereas IOTA is the DAG, the Tangle. Right? 
Um, use of tokens, so purchase of specific data, goods and services, microtransactions, whereas for IOTAs, just microtransactions. Um, all, and then IoT applications, all normal consumer and industrial IoT devices, whereas IOTA and microcomputers. Okay, so that's what they say about this. My take on this, IOTA has been around for a while, I think over a year now. And basically, IOTA does have some partnerships along the way. So they're working with things like Volkswagen, some other auto manufacturers. So they already have stuff in the works. Now, downsides of IOTA, they are somewhat centralized. Uh, there are potential security flaws in the Tangle. Um, it's slow now, but the more people that use the Tangle, the faster it gets. That's how it works. You have to process microtransactions on IOTA to verify two previous things. However, they're microtransactions. It's very small. So, IOTA versus IOTW, this is what they say. My thoughts, IOTA versus IOTW, IOTW is very early on. Like right now, they just kind of have a proof of concept with that video, whereas IOTA has been around for a while, a little bit more proven, a little bit more difficult. So, IOTW needs to actually get the adoption, get use cases out there, get people using it to really start seeing some more. Now, some other IOT um platforms out there, things like IoT Chain and a Rough Chain, they actually do have a lot more use cases. So IoT Chain is working with a large uh, lighting manufacturer, and basically so they're install installing smart devices in those lights. Rough Chain has partnerships with Microsoft and Baidu, which is the Google of China, uh, and so they're already working on building these things. They already have, uh, you can I mean, you can basically program these things with JavaScript, plug them into the wall, they light up. They also have like a little Segway car that they built using Rough Chain. So there's a lot of competition in the marketplace. IOTW is very early on. In terms of the team, I think there is a better picture of the team here that explains a little bit more. So Frederick Lung holds 10 patents. Um, a lot of founders here, so a lot of founders, um, they Many of them have uh, IPO experiences. So this is their ICO experience. They have IPO experiences. In terms of working for large companies, at least that I recognized, the only person to work for large companies that I recognized on their main team was Kartik uh, Maroda, their head of business development. He actually worked for Deloitte, which is a pretty big company. The rest of them uh, have a lot of semiconductor experience, uh, also uh, teachers at universities, but I did not see any like gigantic uh, companies that they work for. Their advisors, though, on their hand, on the other hand, have worked for pretty large companies and do have a good amount of blockchain experience advising other blockchain projects, working on other blockchain projects. So you can see here their strategic partners and investors. They do have a few of them, and then the white paper, the green paper, the one pager. You can download those, FAQ, you can read those. So we'll just go through some things real quickly from those papers and then, uh, yeah, and then we'll sum it all up. So this basically uh, shows the difference between proof of work, proof of stake, proof of assignment. They think that the proof of work and proof of stake systems are broken. They want to improve it by creating proof of assignment. And so basically, whereas in proof of stake, uh, you get, uh, like, you get someone selected here, the selection is way down on the end at the smart devices. Um, and so that's the way that that's particularly different. This compares proof of work, proof of stake, proof of assignment versus each other. The main things are, uh, so in terms of compensation with proof of assignment, the more mining nodes are, the more rewards we get. However, the chance of getting rewards is equal for all the different micro miners out there. Uh, the computation power required is extremely low for proof of assignment, which makes it available for all IoT devices because as we remember, Bitcoin originally, you could mine it on little USB devices. Nowadays, you need these huge ASICs miners that cost thousands and thousands of dollars. Power consumption is low for proof of assignment. With many more devices, it'll be connected across a larger network. Instant transactions, uh, so no in proof of work, a few seconds of proof of stake, Proof of assignment, yes, faster. All right, centralization, proof of work is centralized, proof of stake can be centralized, proof of assignment, potentially not centralized. This is how the ecosystem is working. They're connecting with manufacturers, service providers, mining to the end users. 
and then the comparison of all the different chains. We won't go through that again. I kind of discussed that stuff. Now, where are they in terms of a roadmap? Really, like I said, very early on, okay? Uh, so previous IOTW embedded DPS chips for white goods and IOTW computing platforms, minimal MVP up and running. So they do have an MVP, that's good. Uh, then in March, April of this year, IOTW blockchain and mining software pre-production, 200 mining devices for instant transactions up and running being expanded to a thousand devices. All right, so still very early on. They have, they have the proof of concept. They uh, have a small amount of devices. So then they're having their ICO now, which is uh, going on. Uh, you can find out more information about that on their website, iotw.io. After, so um, roughly six months after ICO, they plan on having the blockchain released to production and customer platforms running. Then a year after, they release a simple version of big data collection, all right? Uh, also, their open SDKs for developers, uh, also code and firmware updates, and then further on after that, there's more and more. So really, really, we won't be seeing developers, any type of platforms getting onto this till about 12 months after the ICO. So that's like a year and some from now. Okay, so my overall takeaways about this. Um, I think, yes, they have a novel concept with micro mining with proof of assignment. I read the white paper. Uh, I do not completely understand how secure the micro mining is and how secure the proof of assignment is versus other things. And I think that'll have to be proven because I do know for a fact that proof of work is secure. Bitcoin's been around for nine years, never been hacked. Proof of stake can have some issues. Um, this proof of assignment micro mining, we'll have to see. Uh, the other thing is really, so very early on, they just have proof of concept. There are other competition in the area that do have much more advancement, things like they compare themselves with IOTA where they do over, overcome some hurdles that IOTA has, like centralization, like needing expensive hardware, um, like the DAG, which they don't seem to like, but IOTA has partnerships with pretty large companies like Volkswagen, all right, uh, also I think Audi was another one. Also, some of the other options out there, IoT chain, they're already working with lighting manufacturers, Rough chain, they're already working with Microsoft and Baidu, so they do have stiff competition, all right? In terms of the team, they seem like smart guys who have a lot of semiconductor experience, but there's on the team, there's only one of what I would call a heavy hitter, uh, basically someone from a very no who worked for a very notable company, and does that mean much? No, probably not, but uh, that's worth noting. And then, uh, yeah, I think they need more, definitely need more development, but it's early on. This is ICO. So, guys, that is that for the review. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, it's a sponsored review. I tried to give a completely unbiased opinion so you could know. Hopefully, they can watch this, see what they need to improve on, uh, and maybe they can educate me on the stuff that I don't understand. So, I will catch you guys later. Love you very much. All right? Peace.